Wednesday morning and we're out feeding bees. Come upon the yard that I've made up as my bulk bee splits. And after watching a video from Phil Veldhus and seeing how his are doing, I'm curious to see how mine are matching up with his. So I'm just randomly poking through actually just to more so see what kind of food stores they have. And we're gonna give them another pail to keep them going. I'm not quite gonna bulk this yard up yet, but just give them a little bit more time to brood up. Um, I'm not quite seeing exactly what Phil is. Uh, well, on this side of the screen, his colonies look a lot more advanced than mine. And that could have been because he got a weak head start on me. But at the same time, I think it might have something to do with flow also. I've been shut down for quite a while now. Just a mild trickle coming in, which is good. Been feeding supplement to help bulk that up. But it's not the same as a real good solid flow. I think he's been in more flow than I have. So we'll just take a peek down into a couple here. It's real easy to assess the nests now because it's pretty much capped. I've noticed that the nest had developed and pretty much exactly to where they can maintain it. And she's pushing it out just a little bit more with eggs and larvae. So this is a second pound of patty we put on. And they're nibbling away at it. Not as quick as the first pound. I think that's because there's not as much open brood in these colonies right now. They've, they, like I say, they've maxed out that nest. I don't see the strip in this one. Better make sure we didn't get missed here. Nope, it's just falling down. Make sure that goes back in. bees they have some food stores in there and definitely could use a, a little bit more bee population there's a little wee patch of brood here surrounded by open space damn this thing Good chunk of brood, one solid frame of brood. That is good. These colonies aren't going to be full sized units, they're going to be more so nukes. Here's a good chunk of brood with open larvae around it, rimmed with syrup. Same with this one open larvae around it, eggs, and then rimmed with syrup. They're not overly packed with feed, so another pail is going to be good for them. And I imagine she's on here because there's a good patch of open brood here. Rimmed with syrup. I'm not seeing a lot of pollen stores. Well, I must have missed her. So that's two, maybe two and a half frames of brood with brood and some honey. Oh, there's some stored pollen. That's probably from, uh, from the, the equipment before. Two and a half. That's decent. Just poke into another one here before I help carry Phil Pails. We're getting on to our bulk feed round now. You can sure tell when they have a demand on protein because this has been on for a week. They've hardly touched it. Everything's capped. There's hardly any developing larvae. Before, I mean, this patty pretty much disappeared as they're developing that nest out. 
So to me, it seems there's a direct translation to uh, demand on protein and consumption of protein. Uh, let's wander to the other side of the yard. The damn raccoon in that one. I'll give you a hand in just a second. Okay. Let's see, let's see what these guys have to show for themselves. Bit more bees in this one. A little bit more consumption of that second patty. Okay. They don't look overly full with feed, but they obviously have enough on hand here. Pollen stores in there, a little bit of open feed, some capped honey. I'm thinking this strategy might be a good way to incorporate. Oh, here's some bird. Right to the edge here. This nest, more bees, I guess, they're just more development. Patch of brood, lots of open larvae around the outside. Same on this side. Patch of brood there and she's stretched it out a little bit on the side. We'll see how far this nest goes through. But this concept of just simply put, using those bulk bees at the end of the season to develop out a nest in the fall as so long as I can get that nest established properly, uh, I might push our queen rearing operation a little bit further into summer. And maybe, wow, this is one hell of a frame of brood. These are Kona queens. I could just buy the queens too. Everything has to do with workload. There she is right there. Doing a terrific job. but I want to develop my own queens because I'm kind of focused on internal stock. Workload plays a huge factor in that decision-making process though. And we'll see how we can shake things out. Here is a frame of, there's a patch in the center there surrounded by eggs. And this whole side is laid out by eggs. How far is she taking this? quite exciting this is almost seems like it's working she's laid this frame right out and I think it ends there she's a little off center no worries I'll just straighten that up a bit yeah it's a frame of honey so she's off center a little bit so one two three four frames of brood on it it's pretty decent Water in the bottom board there. The level is, is hive out. They definitely could use a pail of syrup though. And that is exactly what they're getting. So the development of those two frames of eggs. Turn this into a very nice little winter nest. Okay, with that, I think things are looking good. So we'll get some feed on these and basically just keep our hands off them.